For changing the belt, the tools you need include a Phillips screwdriver, a half-inch open-end wrench and socket, a 9-16th open-end wrench and socket, and a 7-16th socket. To replace bearings, you will also need Allen wrenches, Loctite, and a pry bar. First, remove the top cover by loosening the straps and removing the screw. Using the 7 16 socket, remove the front and back covers to expose the plugger's rotating crankshaft. To replace the belt, you first have to loosen the crankshaft. Using the half inch socket and wrench, remove the eight bolts that hold the crankshaft. Two of the bottom bolts also hold the retractor bracket. Once the crankshaft is free, pull the belt away from the idler pulley, then the motor pulley, until the belt is loose. To remove the belt, pull the crankshaft assembly up. The process of removing the crankshaft is the same to replace the bearings. To replace the cartridge bearings, Loosen the set screws with an Allen wrench. With the bearing plates free, you can use an Allen wrench and an open end wrench to remove the cartridge bearing. When reassembling bearings, use some red or permanent Loctite on the set screw. Place the new belt in position before reassembling the crankshaft and make sure the grease zerks are pointing up so they are easy to access. When reassembling, it's helpful to have two people to lift the crankshaft and align the drive rods through the holes in the retractor plate. Pay attention when you bolt together the drive assembly. There are two different lengths of bolts. Use the longer bolts in the holes shared with the retractor plate. Leave all the bolts loose until they are all in place. The long bolts that hold the retractor plate need to allow the retractor plate to move. Tighten them snug, but not so tight that the plate will not move. With the crankshaft back in place, set the belt around the engine pulley, then underneath the idler pulley. Then replace the covers before operating.